All right, guys, first trip of 2019. First trip in our new truck, pulling Scampi. We're heading to, I always look to you for the state park. <laughs> Mille Lacs Cathio State Park. It's gonna be an awesome trip. Here's to the first trip of 2019. Wow! <laughs> Sarah just asked me was are you a little nervous because when I'm nervous I tend to get quiet focused These are nice. uh, <laughs> but I uh, I said yeah I'm not really I'm not as nervous as I was the first time pulling last year so this will be our third beginning to a season with Scampi and every time it's getting a little bit a little bit better I guess after a long break I guess the, I'm not really nervous about Scampi I know what that feels like kind of you know we got a new tow vehicle that's that's really the big difference we have a big different tow vehicle and so I'm just a little bit nervous about how it's gonna handle with all of this stuff So far everything's good. I think we've gone like 11 miles. <laughs> the state park is only, what'd you say, 50 miles from our, 54 miles from our house. So that's kind of the trips that we're really liking. It's far enough away where you feel like you're getting away and yet it's close enough to home that you know if something catastrophic were to happen you don't feel like there's nothing you can do about it particular weekend uh, we don't have to be back for sunday so we're going to be gone for the entire week. Sites that are an hour or less away from our house because it, it's easy enough to book up Scampi the night before we are, we're ready to leave, Saturday night in other words, and get everything just about ready to go except getting dressed the next morning. It's pretty much all that we have to worry about for Sunday morning. So we can actually get two nights, two full nights camping and still make it back for our Sunday morning uh, church and other things that we have to do. That's the great thing about camping. We got some really good advice when we were watching a lot of other YouTube videos, people who full time, and a lot of them have said the exact same thing. Don't worry about other people. Just kind of go on your own schedule, go on your own time. Frame. It really makes a lot of sense and it really takes a lot of pressure off, and especially when you're getting ready to pull out into traffic if it's your first time pulling a camper or anything extra behind you it can be a little nerve-wracking and so you know you just take your time and it all works out
So, we're all set up here at camp. What do you think, kiddo? Oh, it's so private. <laughs> yeah, it's actually really nice here. I'm actually really impressed. It's our first time here and it's pretty sweet. We're really liking it. Uh, it is a little bit, <laughs> let me show you how, how uneven the ground is. This is probably the lowest we've ever had to keep our, to get the tongue of our camper down to get everything level. It's pretty crazy, but um, other than that, everything is pretty sweet. We got the awning up, so it's given us some good shade. You can tell when I walk back out into the sun. We've got the, gotten the bikes out a little bit. We're gonna go for a bike ride probably a little bit later. Sarah's still setting up camp. Yes. So the awning is working really well. It's, we were able to get it pretty tight, really easily. The only thing that I'm gonna do, which is what I was kind of worried about at home, is I've gotta drill some more holes. I just got it in this outer pipe, it's on the lowest setting right now. I just got to drill some farther down because as you can tell back here, the, I mean, at, at best it's even across there. It's actually tilted a little bit back toward the camper. So if there was going to be rain this weekend, it wouldn't be ideal, but it's still a lot better than what we had. I still haven't fixed the droopage yet. And so I'll figure out what to do with that a little later, but works extremely well. Door clears it no problem. What do you think of it, babe? Liking it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, as she's eating an orange? Mm -hmm. Nice. I finished mine way before her spin. hike right now we are heading um, there's some flowers that are blooming and Sarah really just loves stopping and looking at flowers and so we're kind of on this little nature hike and we're just tech checking out the trail here and we're getting shown around by DNR officer here or DNR naturalist I should say and uh, it's pretty sweet beautiful beautiful day So we've learned a lot over the years about camping in general and one of the things that we have picked up on particularly in our third season is that the first trip of the year you're always going to forget something. We've totally forgot about our can opener, <laughs> steak knives and to refill the coffee. That was the biggest thing this morning. Don't fret the little things. As long as you got a little bit of food <laughs> and you've got water and you've got at least the clothes that you're wearing on your back, you'll be okay. Because every single year, our first trip, we've forgotten something. cool thing about state parks, at least here in Minnesota, unlike hotels where your checkout time is going to be 11 a.m. or noon at the latest, here 
it's four o'clock. So we can stick around for quite a while into the day and go experience things that maybe we couldn't have due to rain or other weather conditions. Or in the case here at Kathios, there's 10,000 acres to explore. I don't know how many trips here we'd have to make to see it all, but we get to see a lot more when we get to stay later in the day. We also don't obviously stay until four because that's also check-in time. So we wanna make sure we're out of our sight, just being courteous to the next people coming in. But we'll usually stay till 2.30 or three o'clock in the afternoon. And it gives us a lot of extra time in the park, which is awesome. So we're hiking up to yet another tower. If you've been following on our channel for a while, you know that I have a fear of heights, but I conquered that fear last year in St. Croix going up their fire tower, which was pretty sweet. We're gonna tr attempt to do it again, and uh, there's another tower here at Cathios. You weren't sure, but you made it, didn't you? Uh-huh. <laughs> it's a big climb up here. been 18 months thereabouts since we purchased Scampi. It's been such an awesome experience and we're hoping for so many more years. So we just want to thank you guys for being here with us. If you haven't already, if you like what you're seeing, hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Hit that bell if you want to know when our latest and greatest video comes out. Until next time, get out there, enjoy the creation. God bless.